everyone. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Brianna Wilson. I am a certified dementia practitioner and the founder of Bamboo Care. So today's video is inspired by the question, do you tell your loved one that they have dementia? Now, of course, the most basic, most simple answer to this question is the infamous, it depends. Because it does, right? But I want to dive a little bit deeper into this. So let's say that your partner is finally diagnosed with some type of dementia. Or maybe the doctors aren't quite sure what is causing the dementia, so they just give you the vague label of dementia. Should you tell your loved one that they have dementia? So my first answer to this question is yes. Of course you would want to tell your partner that they have dementia. In my opinion, everyone, no matter what stage they may be in, deserves to know what's going on with them and in the most basic form, what that means. I feel like it's a right to know, okay? Now, depending on the person, this news may be taken differently. So some people may have already suspected that something wasn't right. And so when you tell them, it really doesn't come to a surprise. And they might agree and say, yeah, you know, I, I always knew something wasn't right, okay? Others might not say much of anything and they just might cry. Or others may say something like, you know, to hell with those doctors. They don't know what they're talking about. I don't have dementia. And others may be so far along their dementia that they really can't comprehend or understand what you're trying to tell them. And they're just going to forget in a few minutes or the next day. And that's okay, right? But everyone deserves to know upon that initial diagnosis what's going on with them. And no matter what their response is, they have the right to express their feelings however it comes out. They also should be given the opportunity to grieve themselves or their situation if they so choose. So your role as a care partner is to support them through this. You want to listen with open ears. You want to validate their feelings. And you want to reassure them that you're going to be there to support them throughout their journey, okay? So you really want to give them this opportunity. If the dementia is diagnosed in its early stages, it's even more important that you let your partner know what's going on with them because at this stage, they can still be highly involved in their care. They can make decisions on their own behalf and they can contribute to the future planning. They also might just have things that they want to do before it's too late to do them. But if they don't know what's coming up for them, they can't make those decisions. These are special freedoms that you definitely don't want to take away from your partner, okay? So that's why I feel like it's important, especially in those early stages, to let them know what's going on with them. Now, after you've already told your partner once, is it necessary to keep telling them that they have dementia over and over and over? No, not necessarily. However, you may find that after you tell your partner that they have dementia, they may have questions for you every now and again. So they might ask you, what's wrong with me again? Or they just might ask what's wrong with them. Or they may ask you more details about what all this dementia stuff means. And so it's important, especially in those early stages, that you try to answer as openly and honestly as possible. Because again, knowing this information might affect their decisions on how they want their care to be carried out and the things that they might want to do before it's too late. Now, if you notice that as you're telling them this information, that they're starting to have these like catastrophic reactions or responses, like maybe they're getting angry or more stressed or depressed or anxious or anything like that, then you know it's probably time to start changing your answer a little bit and just providing them with the bare minimum amount of information that they need to kind of satisfy them. Because you don't wanna add more stress or more negative emotions than is necessary, okay? Now, if your partner is further along in their dementia and they ask you, what's wrong with me? You can still answer by telling them that they have dementia because believe it or not, some people actually find comfort and knowing that there's a reason for these difficulties that they're having and that they're not just crazy. 
So telling them can be okay. But again, if you notice that when you tell them that, that they have this catastrophic response and they become angry, stressed, depressed, anxious, whatever, then you know it's now time to adjust your answer. So the next time that they ask you that question, you know that you need to give them just the bare minimum amount of information to kind of satisfy that need. Now, after initially telling your partner that they have dementia and they never bring it up or they never ask you what's wrong with them, you should not bring it up either. At this point, it really serves no beneficial purpose to let them know that they have dementia. Absolutely no purpose. And you never want to try to convince someone that they have dementia. That also serves no purpose and no benefit. It's okay if a person doesn't think that they have dementia. It is okay if they don't remember that they have dementia, okay? So if they're not bringing it up, please just leave it alone. They don't need to know that they have dementia, okay? Because what's going to happen if you tell them that they have dementia, especially if it's not warranted, if they're not asking you about it, if you're just trying to convince them because something happened, you know, it's just going to create a lot of negativity. It's going to risk tainting your relationship with your partner. And then for your partner that has the dementia, they might have these lingering emotions of depression or other negative emotions that carries on along with them throughout their journey. And so really, it's a lose-lose situation for everyone. So to sum it up, yes, it is my opinion that upon initial diagnosis, your partner has the right to know what's going on with them and what that means for them in at least the most basic form. However, after initially telling them, it's really only necessary to tell them if they're directly asking you what's wrong with them. But if you notice that after telling them that they have dementia, that they're responding in a more catastrophic way with depression, anxiety, stress, anything like that, anger, right? Then at that point, you know you need to adjust your answer to just the bare minimum amount of information they need to feel okay and satisfied. And that doesn't mean even bringing up dementia, okay? It could be just something like, you know, we all have our good and bad days, or you're probably just a little bit tired, or you might just contribute it to old age if you must, okay? But just something that kind of provides them with the answer that they need to kind of carry on and go along their day, okay? Now, again, if they never bring it up, please, you, don't bring it up. At that point, it really serves no purpose it's just going to be detrimental for the both of you guys if you bring it up and then they get really angry about it and now you risk tainting your relationship and you risk that negativity kind of following them along their journey, okay? So that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions or concerns about anything I've talked about, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, remember that all of our social media links are also in the description box as well as our website. And until next time.